What's up guys, so anyway, so one of my friends is interested in how to do a landing and a takeoff on a 747 properly, so I'm just going to provide a basic story, I mean, you know, everyone has this moment where no one really knows what to do for the start, but anyway, so I'm going to give a basics to do it. So, uh, yet again, I'm using the default 747, and I'm at Vancouver Airport. I'm using track IR, so that's why my head moves around a lot. Anyway, so basics of gauges to show you on this. That's speedometer right there that shows the angle of the nose and which way it's going. Uh, that's altitude there, and that shows whether you're descending or not descending. Vertical speed tape, I believe. No. Yeah, maybe. Um, anyway, so if it goes down that way, it means you're descending. If it says 1 there, then it's minus 1,000 feet per minute. And if it goes up, then it, to a 1, it means 1,000 feet per minute ascending. Stuff like that. And it's pretty easy once you figure out. That's your heading right there. That shows your mark, uh, barometer. And then there's a little uh, purple line. That's actually the flight director which I've enabled on this because it means that it can show me where I'm going. So in this case, for landing, I'm going to use an ILS. I'm not going to use the autopilot. I'm going to guide myself, but I'm going to use the ILS as reference because it makes life easier. Uh, and literally, when you put the right frequency and you come into that runway with the right radio frequency in the runway, you just follow it and it will take you in. So, for instance, in this case, my frequency is not the one that I want, which is pretty annoying. I remember, though, it is 110.55. So, slap that in. Uh, then, push it across from standby. Um, so, that means it's the active one. Okay, so, yeah, it's found the frequency. I hate it when it does this. So I guess we'll just have to deal with it together. Uh, anyway, so the, the takeoff, you probably want the flaps down to about 15 degrees, maybe. I'm not sure what it's saying. But, no, I can't read that. I'll just take it down a notch again. Anyway, so then for takeoff, you probably want to take off at about uh, 140 knots, maybe. Uh, and, you know, you just pull the stick steadily back. Don't put it too back, otherwise, yeah, you'll hit the tail. Uh, advance the throttle slowly. You don't want to stress those engines. And, I mean, yeah, this is 747, it's not going to go bounding into the air immediately. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I will upload a 777 video later on. Uh, that's in the way. Um, anyway, so, yeah, there it goes. It kind of starts bundling off. So, you can see now I'm heading 90 knots, 100 knots. And, yes, yeah, so you want to pop up at about 140, because this plane is a big plane. It's... Uh, I mean, okay, I haven't had time to calculate V1 and V rotate V2 yet, and I haven't been paying attention either, which is even better. <laughs> um, okay, and so once you're up, you obviously put the gear up. You might want to cut the uh, cut the throttle a bit unless you're actually going to uh, do a commercial flight, right? Anyway, so that's the kind of basic takeoff, really. Yeah, you should try and pull up at 140 knots with these particular planes. Uh, and you will go off. One not uh, one habit to get into as well is that you want to be below 250 knots, below 10,000 feet. It's super important, and it's just what current regulations are for civilians. Right. Anyway, so I'll see you in a minute once I've lined the plane around for approach. All right. So once you've lined the plane around the other side, I've kind of put the nose up quite high. I don't know the reason for. Let's just check. Oh, shit, I am. The nose angle is quite high. Oh well. But anyway, I'll straighten it up anyway. Uh, so before we go into approach, I'm just going to tell you the basics of what you want. Right, so right here you see the purple needle there. You want to get that across and that one across. And you want them to be perfectly interlined with uh, your kind of control bit. You're probably going to want to land at about 145 knots. Approaching at about 150 knots, uh, 155 knots with this plane. Remember, a 747, they're pretty big so it's critical that you want to put your flaps all the way down uh, just before landing you know just do it incrementally so you probably want to go on approach at about 10 15 I can't remember what the flap settings are in the 747 uh, and then once you're ready put the whole flaps down when you're at speed below 180 knots once you're below 180 knots as well you probably want to put the gear down uh, right anyway so once I've kind of said the basics I'll show you Right, so I'm just trying to get the uh, purple needles 
those purple lines of the flight director just aligned to my controls. So I'm a bit high right now, but honestly I don't particularly care. If you're a flight simulator user and you want to arm the spoilers, then you should probably press a uh, shift question button. That will arm the spoilers such that on landing it will put them up for you, which is even easier and makes life very good. Right, so I'm not using the autopilot right now, I can promise you that. I'm just following the needle because it makes life very easy. Right, so you can probably see now that I'm falling below 180 knots and about to go down to 170. Uh, I just want to make you guys remember that actually this has been a while since I've flown in the 747 on the simulator again. So bear with me. Um, and yeah, so I'm quite high and everything like that. Um, right. So there you go, so I'm going up into the runway. Right now, if I could see it, I'd tell you what it is. I'll probably pause when it comes. It's very handy for general aviation planes, and I actually kind of question whether it originally existed. But it does, and it's super helpful. Um, and it's got a lot to do with the angle of attack of the plane. Uh, that's quite complicated, so I won't go into detail with that. All you just need to know is what it is, basically. Shit, I kind of forgot about my speed. Oh well. Right, there we go. And this plane's seriously overpowered. Which doesn't make life easy. Um, anyway, so yeah, the flight director's kind of bundling all over the place. After a while, I'll probably ditch this and kind of do my own thing. But it should be alright. Still can't see the lights. I'll probably have to show you later. Uh, once I kind of turn around, I'll use salute and I'll show. Um, yet again, I'm going to say I'm better at doing military jets, but excuses are excuses. Yeah, so you can kind of faintly see them. You see the small yellow line across. There are actually four single lights. If you're uh, high, then it's all yellow lights. Yeah, Pull yet up. again, I'm not focusing here. Pull I'm up. trying to do a commentary at the same time and trying to follow a lot of stuff, but don't worry, I do it all for you guys. I guess, although I don't really know all of you. Oh well. Um, anyway, come on, flight director, fuck you. <laughs> and anyway, so you're kind of going in approach now, flight director. You see, there's two yellow lights and two red lights. This means that I'm at the right angle, at the right setting. Uh, and sorry, it means that I'm the right height for this stage. And I'm just slowly and steadily coming in. You know, it's small maneuvers again and easily yeah and I'm trying to keep around 145 but I'm not particularly focusing and the flight director just kinda of went hey fuck you I'll do my own thing uh, which was really great for me uh, right so then I'm probably gonna cut the throttle by now just to, uh, so that means I can flare I'm going a bit fast and a bit high but and then you just Flare, or I don't know what I'm doing honestly. This is probably a pretty bad landing. Well, I landed a long time ago, but I didn't even hear it, which is great because I didn't even know. Anyway, so then you press F2 for the thrust reversers, and eventually, the plane stops just before 40 knots. You probably then disengage the thrust reversers. Uh, yeah, I didn't exactly expect that I land. I didn't actually hear anything. I'm wearing headphones right now, but they're not connected to the sound. And that's because I want my microphone connected and track IR. Anyway, so basics to uh, rule over. You want to watch this little meter on the side. Uh, altitude tape, of course. You want to follow the flight director, but it was a bit weird for me. Partly because I was kind of too reliant on it, so I was just kind of going over the place. I wasn't paying particular attention to the speed. So, learn from my mistakes, I guess. Uh, so remember that, and you probably want to land at 145 knots. I'm sure someone out there will probably say I'm wrong, and I would happily be questions, I guess, or because you know you always learn a new thing. It's not a competition about aviation; it should be a friendly environment, uh, unless of course you're in the military or something. <laughs> um, anyway, cool. Thanks, guys.